Hey guys, after some discussion with GearBest, we uh, decided to kind of switch gears and do a little more reviews on outdoor style equipment. And so they sent me these King Lux binoculars for review. Now what I wanted to do in this review is not so much go over every nitty gritty detail of these binoculars, because in the end you can just read that in the description or the link, you know, to the product. And what I want to do instead is talk about the quality versus similarly priced binoculars such as like Bushnell, Simmons, Tasco, you know those ones that you're going to find at places like Walmart or Cabela's or Gander Mountain or Bass Pro or any of those uh, shops that sells the uh, entry-level binoculars. Now over the years I've owned a lot of binoculars probably six or seven pairs. I've probably thrown out a bunch of pairs over the years because you know you buy those ten dollar binoculars and they're just oh, trash. So I picked these out of the uh, group because number one they were about forty dollars which is right about in that price range i wanted to be at for you guys because once you get below that you're really kind of throwing your money away as far as binoculars um they're fairly well featured and they're pretty decent quality for the money so these are a 10 by 42 which is a really good medium sized binocular so it's something you can definitely take hunting bird watching you know and carry around with you and they're not going to be too heavy for that everyday carry. I mean, they're a little underpowered if you really want to do like long distance shooting and be able to see where the bullets are hitting on a target. But you definitely, if you're shooting at that 100 range or less, these will probably definitely do it for you. So it's a, like I said, a 10 by 42, very typical binocular construction. There's really nothing, pretty much all binoculars are the same, guys, unless you spend good money to get extra features. That under $100 price range, they're all the same. So what this is you're looking in, you point that at what you want to look at. This is the end you look in, your focus adjustment, your diopter, which is what adjusts when your vision is different in each eye. Has uh, removable lens caps. The uh, back one is one piece, which is kind of awesome because you can attach it with a spring if you want. And the top ones are just little dangly flip downs. Which is kind of neat so you don't have to worry about losing them but if you want to rip them off you can take them off you have a pretty good adjustment for your interpupillary distance the uh, focus knob is pretty smooth it actually goes really smooth diopter once again is really smooth and it has these little doohickeys for adjusting if you have glasses or not so it kind of will let you get in closer if you do have glasses so overall these things are not a horrible quality for the money and they're not too bad. They actually have a multi-coating, which is kind of neat. Um, which to explain real quick is oftentimes, well every time, unless you're buying really, really cheap like $10 binoculars, there's going to be some kind of anti-reflective coating. Now typically when it comes to, you know, that cheaper, under $100 binoculars, the entry level stuff, you're going to get one coat and you're done. And in the end, that can result in having areas that maybe don't get good coverage, you get some glare, you get some reflection, some imperfections and all that. These are multi-coated, so it actually has multiple layers of the anti-reflective coating on there. It just gives a much better finished product, and it's less likely to wear off over time with cleaning. So I think it is uh, very nice, because you don't often see that in your you know $40 pair of binoculars. So like I said, these when you look at the competition, you're looking at the inexpensive Bushnells, the inexpensive Tascos and Simmons and things like that that you're going to find at Walmart and your Bass Pro, Cabela's, all that. Now, of course, like everything else in the world, the more you pay, the better quality you're going to get. You know, I have a pretty good variety of binoculars from those little cheap $10 ones. And my most expensive pair is this $100 pair of... Uh, Nikon Action, I think they're 10 by, or no, 16 by 50s. So these are actually my best pair. They're about 110 bucks or so. So I have a pretty good variety in the quality wise. So it's kind of nice because I can definitely uh, find out exactly where this lies in the spectrum for quality. So when it comes to $10 binoculars, these blow these out of the water. Of course, like with anything else in life, what you pay for is usually what you get. Now, step up a notch. Let's go to those $30 and $40 Simmons and, and the uh, Bushnells, you know, the ones that come in the clam pack. You know, usually they're not under a glass case or anything like that. These, I think, are considerably better than them. 
I think in the end you get uh, a much crisper focus with these. I think the focus is very nice. The adjustments are really smooth. Um, I'm noticing very little glare with these and the light transmission seems to be pretty good overall. I've had Bushnells I've paid $30, $40 for and been really unhappy with. They were, you know, even bringing them out in sunlight, they were very dark, tough to see things, tough to see details. Bring them to the range and I can't see any bullet holes in the targets. These, on the other hand, actually have pretty good light transmission. I have a uh, birdhouse about 50 yards from my house. So what I did was I kind of sat down, took some time watching the birdhouse, watching the birds kind of come and go with all my different binoculars. Now, of course, the Nikons did better because they are a $100 pair of glasses, plus they're bigger. They're 16 by 50, so they, you know. So, but these right here actually did perform, I think, a lot better than, I think I have uh, maybe like a, what is it, it's like an 8 by 24 pair of Bushnells and uh, I think some Simmons ones, I think I have a 10 by 40 Simmons and some of those little tiny ones like the 8 by 30s or whatever. So I got a bunch of different stuff laying around and these definitely, they do outperform them. They do have pretty good optical quality. Everything seems to be in collimation. No double vision, ghosting, anything like that that would indicate that there's an issue with the optics. So, of course, I didn't drop these or bang them around just to see how tough they were. But in the end, I think if you got 40 bucks to burn, well, let's just put it this way. This is my money. And knowing what I know now, having looked at these, compared them with $10 binoculars, $30, $40 binoculars, and $100 binoculars, if I had a $50 bill in my pocket and I had to get a pair of binoculars, I would buy these before I bought a pair of Bush now. So I buy these before Simmons, I buy these before Tasco. I do think even though these are a kind of no-name overseas brand, they do, you know, by skipping that middleman and buying directly from a place like Gearbest, you do get a better value for your money. Now, don't kid yourself, you know, those Tasco, Simmons, and Bushnells are all made overseas as well. If you want a good American-made set of binoculars, you're going to be paying some bucks. That's just how it is. And, of course, these things are not going to compare to your high-end scopes, like your loopholes and, and the red fields and stuff like that. They're just, you know, you can't compare a $200 pair of binoculars with a $40 pair. But I think when you level the playing field and look at the competition, which is those... 30 to $50 binoculars that you're going to find in places like Walmart. This performs very well, just does just as good. And in fact, I think the image quality, the optics are, you know, maybe 20, 30% better. You know, let's put it this way. Those Nikons I showed you, let's consider them 100%. I would say these King Lux are about 80% of the quality optics wise, just optics. We're not talking features or anything else. Just optical clarity. I'd say these are about 80%. I would say your Bushnells and Simmons and all that probably range from like 30% to 60%, depending on you know how much you pay. Those little cheap $10 ones, you're talking more like 30. You know the 30, $40 ones, you're talking you know 50, 60%. So I think you do uh, get a better value. Now here's the thing: is I don't, I haven't had the opportunity to check out all the different brands that they have at Gearbus. Hopefully we can kind of keep going with this and see and get a little bit of variety. But I think overall, this is a really positive note that these are a very good serviceable pair of binoculars and that they're actually pretty comfortable, easy to carry, simple to use, and the optical clarity is there. It's right on price point, and it's, I don't think it's something you're going to be disappointed with when you put it up against realistic competition.